Hello everyone and welcome back to today's video. Today we are checking out a resource that adds, <laughs> it's really just a test resource to mess around with what 5M added back in March, but it allows you to mess with the waves in the water and everything. So it makes these gigantic cool waves in the city. And you know what? It reminds me of the old GTA 4 tsunami days, if anybody remembers that mod. So anyway, I just wanted to install this. This is not something you would probably put on production server unless you're doing like an under the world type thing. But I wanted to just show it off. I don't have that long today, so why not do something fun? Anyway, I'll leave this link top of the description. You just click the GitHub button. Pretty simple. Takes you here. It is archived. There's no reason to update this. So you just click the big green button and press download zip. Download, open it up with whatever your favorite opener is, WinZip, 7-Zip, WinRAR. You'll navigate to your resources folder. In here, you can see there's a second folder. Do not drag this first one. Drag this second one, because this is actually what contains the files. So just drag in the thing that says Waterworld and go ahead and close that. Now, unlike a normal resource, unless you want this to start at startup, and I do not because I don't want the waves happening every single time I get in game, I'm not going to add this to my server.cfg and I'm going to manually start it from in game and I'll show you how to do that. So we're going to start the server like normal. And while this loads up on the side, I'm going to go ahead and launch 5M. And then we're going to load into the server here. And what we're, in, we're, we're going to end up doing is we're going to go into our server console. And if you don't know what the server console it is, it is this thing that popped up on our screen here. We can either manually type in here. However, that can be a little annoying. It's actually easier to type from within the game and go ahead and enable those features when we're in the game rather than doing it through the console on a computer because, you know, you don't know who wants to start the resources and everything. So as long as you have your server admin permissions, you'll be able to run this from in-game. That's done by default when you create a server. If for some reason you don't have permission set up, just do it through that console outside of your game. Now that we are in game here, it's pretty going to be pretty simple. I'm actually kind of in an interesting place. It's not really around water, but we can go ahead and try it anyway. Um, and it's pretty uh, simple. So if you just drag this in and your server was already running, you can just type slash refresh, but you can see it didn't find it because we started our server after we installed the folder. And then we're going to just type ensure or start water world and press enter. And it's gone ahead and started. So it's probably going to be down near the water. I doubt it would get all the way up here. I think it's just kind of around. Oh, there's the water. So you can see it is kind of literally filled the entire map with water. So kind of looks exactly like the traditional GTA 4 one where everything's flooding and, you know, the waves are going through. Obviously, my graphics pack is having a hard time trying to realize what in the world to do here. Um, but there is a lot of waves. Um, so let's go ahead and see if we can get ourselves a vehicle. Um, obviously, let's see how this works. So obviously, there it is interactable, so things will be picked up and uh, dropped. And, you know, it, it, it reminds me of the chaos of GTA 4 days. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get a car here, and I'll just drive it manually off this roof, because that seems like the safest thing to do. Um... We'll go with a sports car. So you can just drag, uh, drive, drag um, into the water. And then obviously you're in the water and your car's dead because, you know, why would you be driving in the water? And obviously the NPCs react as you get close to them. That's a one sink thing. So if it looks like NPCs are literally just driving through the water down there and then they only start doing things when you get close to them, that's because of one sink. There's nothing you can do about that. Um, but anyway... Hopefully this helps you run like an end of the world tsunami thing. Um, I like it. It's fun. It's cool. It's just one of those things. There's the Ferris wheel looking out over the thing. Um, so obviously if you have graphics problems, you probably don't want to run this because, you know, it's going to be kind of ridiculous. The ramps of the uh, jet skis out here. Uh, that's one thing we can do real quick. We'll spawn a jet ski or a boat of some sort. Let's do a jet max and try to drive up and over the water so you can see it's it's kind of just ridiculous um you should never never need this in your server but we, who knows maybe i'll make a video on it and surprise um nathan and wolf if they don't watch this video um about i know i don't know end of the world i guess it's the best way to put it anyway i'm rambling because i'm tired but enjoy this resource um hopefully you find it interesting and fun Drive a boat through your city if you want. Drive a boat on top of buildings. I don't know. You can kind of do whatever you want in here. Um, but there's the Weasel News building underwater. And I am ramping off a building to end this video. So 
thanks so much for watching everybody i will see you in the upcoming videos in a couple of days and um enjoy the rest of your week all right bye everyone